Plenty of people say they are detail-oriented, but few are as meticulous as a certain guy in Gladbrook. His artwork is incredibly impressive even before you find out what he's working with. Eric Hansen's This Is Iowa report shows us Pat Acton's newest monster-sized creation made with a million mini parts. Gladbrook, Iowa might have fewer than a thousand people, but in a Main Street storefront, you'll find millions of wows. Because every intricate work of art here is made out of matchsticks. Pat Acton started small. I'd go to the grocery shelf and buy boxes of matchsticks, cut the heads off, and make little buildings. And then things just kind of snowballed from there. Take the U.S. Capitol. It took him 2,000 hours. It would be the equivalent of a full-time job for one year. His museum, Matchstick Marvels, has become an only in Iowa tourist destination, featuring Pat's work created tediously. Mostly just one stick at a time. But his latest creation has jaws dropping. This one is big. A 22-foot-long flying locomotive that barely squeezes under the 9-foot-tall ceiling here. It's so big, you can step inside the cab, pull levers. This would be the throttle on an old uh, locomotive, uh, the brakes. And ring the bell. Except for that clang, it's all made of matchsticks. Every gear in detail glued by Pat's hand over the last 13 months. That's a lot of little school bottles of glue, too. About 30 gallons, but it's even more time in tiny twigs, he now special orders without the sulfur tips to save time. Originally, I thought maybe three quarters of a million matchsticks. It turned out to be over a million matchsticks. But why would anyone invest thousands of hours just to earn some wows? Two reasons. First, America's wow experts, Ripley's Believe It or Not, commissioned it. But as tedious as it seems, this now full time work fuels his creative juices. I love just taking a big pile of sticks and, and seeing if I can get something created. Ripley's is going to put Pat's flying steampunk locomotive on display in their flagship Manhattan Museum in August, so millions can see these million matchsticks. But through July, you can see it on Main Street Gladbrook. Matchstick Marvels is open every afternoon in Gladbrook, and Pat already has started visualizing his next Ripley's project. A huge two headed dragon. He'll start gluing again soon so he can have his next wow creation complete sometime next year. Eric Hansen, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.